Hello, this is Frontline here, and I have gathered you all today to hear a joke of mine, a very long-winded joke. It'll take a very long time to tell this story, but I tell you, it is worth it. Back in ancient times, there was a labyrinth with a gem hidden inside. Guarding this gem was Minotaur Jr., the son of the Minotaur. Because he's the son of the Minotaur, he uh, is only one-fourth bull, but that doesn't make him less manly. No, it makes him more manly. He hit the gym three times a week, man. Anyway, this Minotaur was pretty tough, but that didn't stop people from trying to get the treasure. People from all over the world flocked to the maze to get this prize. Now, the Minotaur being the manly gym rat that he was, always challenge people to weightlifting competitions. You got a squat, bro, you know? No one could beat the Minotaur. And even if they did, they would die from a lack of protein powder inside of the maze. But one day, two men, two, I almost said one, but it's two. Two men named Brock and Garth decided that they were up to the challenge to enter this maze. They decided they would take on this beast once and for all and end all of this. But it was mainly to woo some women they met in a bar two days earlier. Brock was a strong man. He's been lifting since he was out of the womb. When he was born, his first words were, Do you even birth, bro? Grabbing the nearest dumbbell, Brock started curling to show off his manly muscles. But he was also in a competition because his twin brother, Garth, was also being born. Garth is not as strong as Brock and lost the competition. However, what he lacks in muscles, he gains in brains. Garth believed that if you could outsmart an opponent, you don't need to be stronger than them, and kept this in mind when entering the maze. So when they entered the maze, Brock and Garth both ended up having individual maps so that they wouldn't get lost within the labyrinth systems. They were mapping their way out, trying to make sure that they would be able to escape once they took on this Minotaur Jr. But Minotaur Jr. knew that they were in the maze, so he started preparing for a weightlifting competition. He grabbed a squat rack and three weight belts, because he knew it was time to battle. The Minotaur Jr. finally reached Brock and Garth. He then sets up the weights, and Brock is ready. Brock is trying to warm up, doing air squats, doing some push-ups, getting ready for this intense fight. But Garth, Garth is plying his weaknesses. He is trying to outsmart his opponent and be the best he can be in this competition. The Minotaur starts taunting the men, saying that they are too puny for this kind of competition and will automatically lose. But Brock gets his weights ready and is ready to do a 500 pound squat. And if you don't know, that's pretty darn impressive. Brock is struggling getting the weight up, but finds it in his heart to finally get to the top into a full upright standing position and is able to squat the full 500 pounds. Garth, on the other hand, was only able to do 300 pounds, but as long as Brock wins, then that doesn't matter because they both are a team. And for some reason, that just fits the story, you know? It's like, Garth isn't that strong. But the Minotaur was. The Minotaur was able to lift twice the amount of weight as Brock, going up with a thousand pounds without any kind of struggle at all. It was at this point that the men knew that they were beat. Knowing this, Brock immediately tried to attack the beast, but then was slain by the monster and eaten alive. Garth was then panicked and tried to run for the exit. However, the Minotaur immediately ran and blocked it. However, the Minotaur had a change in heart. Instead of immediately going after Garth, he starts talking. I know you are afraid, and rightfully so. However, you do not have to worry, my friend, because you have a friend in me. You know, because he has um, Brock inside of him. He ate him, you know, a friend in me. That, that's that's kind of the joke. This is the part where you start laughing. 